So here's a bit of fun. We're going to use the open source DOSBox to run Autodesk Chaos from the uh, very early 1990s. So here, first thing we've got to do after we've downloaded the the Chaos software we've, and we've extracted it, basically you have to mount a C drive, mount, mount the C drive or mount a drive to to give us access to that, um, and then we can go down inside it, and then we actually launch the uh, the old batch file called old bat, which has special significance if you're a Brit, but anyway. You saw the Autodesk calipers there on the loading screen, and then you see that they're down in the bottom left. Uh, this is now very much in the open, in the, you know, uh, pr provided open, uh, in the open as shareware. There's nothing to do with Autodesk anymore, but it's nice to see the old logo. So then we can launch it. You can see that actually the refresh rate is fairly slow, so we can do Control F12 uh, to whack that up. You could say cycles equals max before you run this, but I found that it actually doesn't run quicker in terms of the refresh, so it's actually more effective to do this. Um, and then you can really just sort of drill down into the into the fractal, um, letting it generate, which is pretty cool. Um, and there, you know, obviously, when there's more detail, it takes a little while longer to to resolve or to 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 generate the graphics at, at a you know at that fine level of detail. So we'll just let this this go through. You can see the resolution is pretty nice considering it's a what 24, 25 year old piece of software. Okay, that's it. And then once we're done, we can also go out obviously from here and quit out. And then there's other parts to the package that you can you know, explore at your own leisure. Um, but it's certainly a nice rediscovery to, to, to have, a, have the chance to play with this again. Okay, thank you, that's it.